where Kuwaiti activists shouted free Palestine to Israeli travelers at Dubai International Airport. Kids were involved in this, parents were there. Um, it was not the best sight to see. Um, but a little recap on the Abraham Accords. Now, in 2020, the signing of the Abraham Accords normalized the diplomatic re- relations among Israel, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Morocco, and Sudan. Now, Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in 15 September 2022, said that the Abraham Accords were based on a simple premise that diplomacy and communication would promote greater stability, prosperity, and hope. Now, today we can say that with great confidence that the premise was correct. And we're building a brighter future together by expanding opportunities for our peoples and our people across the region. Now, over the past two years, our belief in peace has been us achieving countless milestones and we have turned plans into concrete action and developed a thriving relationship to help us accomplish our shared strategic objectives. Now, we will continue this work as we deepen the accords and spread their inclusive vision of regional community for progress. So the UAE is a country that promotes tolerance, acceptance and stability within the nation and the Middle East. In accordance with the signing of the Abraham Accord in 2020, the UAE believes in peace and tolerance to continue achieving countless milestones. So be it any community, religion, uh, race, the UAE strongly believes in tolerance and acceptance of all and living in, you know, complete harmony and coexistence. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Well said, and 